What is the modern state of working remotely? Working remotely has become something of a contentious topic in modern discussions. The pandemic introduced remote work as a near necessity, but its role has been in flux ever since. On one hand, remote work is practical, cheap, and convenient. On the other hand, some have efficiency concerns and feel it could harm business. Following the pandemic, the number of remote workers dropped and has continued to drop yearly. Today, 40% of U.S. employees work remotely one or more days a week. Of course, there is variance across industries. For example, tech workers are far more likely to work remotely than in various service-based enterprises. However, this number is still far more significant than the number of remote workers that existed before the pandemic. The benefits of remote work once felt are desired by many workers in many industries. This is what leads the conversation around remote work to be complex. It's a model that serves the employee exceptionally well. Remote workers save money on commuting and lunch, save time getting ready, have more privacy, and have fewer meetings. Today, 98% of workers want to work remotely at least some of the time. Of course, employers also benefit from remote work, although to a lesser extent. Businesses that employ remote workers have far fewer absences, are more productive, and have less turnover. So, what's bringing people back to the office? First and foremost, many employers have office spaces and investments made into the physical workspace. While possible to do, it's expensive to cut ties and commit to a fully remote workplace. Another issue is communication. The lack of in-person communication complicates relationships between employees and employers. Of course, there are solutions to these problems. Hybrid models are a viable alternative, allowing employees and employers to enjoy the benefits of both remote work and working in the office. Connectivity platforms help with communication by keeping employees centered and reducing the burden of communication. They can also allow for easy monitoring, as many employers worry about employee inefficiency. All of this is to say that remote work has a real future, even if it is currently dropping in popularity. The issues and concerns around working remotely are valid, but its advantages are undeniable. It's just a matter of time until technology evolves to make remote work more seamless. However, until then, it seems people are returning to the office, and they'll be there for quite a while.